Ask Weather School. I'm going to show you a cool weather experiment you can do at home. This is how thunderstorms form in the summertime when you have hot air and cold air. Now air, of course, is clear, but we're going to use water because we can add food coloring. So all you need for this experiment, it's really easy, you need an ice cube tray. You also need food coloring. I use blue for cold and red for hot. So you put a couple of drops of food coloring in there, add some water, and then after a couple hours you have ice cubes. So ice cubes is the cold air, cold water. On the other side, well, we have heat. We're gonna use red food color. This is hot water, it doesn't have to be boiling. If you're worried about it, kids, make sure you get your parents involved with this, uh, but it is uh, warm to hot water. So we add a couple of drops of food coloring here. Mix that up a little bit, just to add a couple more to really get the idea, really get the heat involved. So, to start things off, I gotta wear some safety goggles. Safety first with every experiment. <laughs> Let's uh, get going. So, this is your cold side right here. Now, with cold air, it's very dense, molecules are close together, so that cold isn't going to expand very quickly. It's going to stay in its own corner. We'll add a couple more ice cubes here. You might get food coloring on your hands. You just got to wash that off and it'll take some time. So there we go. We have blue in one corner. At the same time, we're going to add the hot water and watch the process that happens here. What do you think is going to happen? Cold water, dense, it's going to go down to the bottom. The hot is going to go up and over. So there we go. You can see how these are mixing. And it's that process. Let's say you have a hot summer day and a cold front comes in at the end of the day. That cold air is going to mix with the warm and cause convection. And that's what it's all about. Convection, especially in the summertime, creates these thunderstorms. Now, in the winter, it's a bit of a different process, but the same overall idea, cold air is dense, so it goes right down to the surface. When you have a warm front coming in, that warmth goes up and over, and it's that warm air. The rain falls into that, it stays as rain, and then it reaches right near the ground, and it's cold, and you get freezing rain. A bit more cold you get ice pellets. So a lot of that has to do with the different densities. Cold air, dense, stays near the ground. Warm air, more buoyant, goes up and over. And then the two mix, and they create convection and often thunderstorms. So that's a neat little process. I want to show uh, you again how this all looks in uh, sped up motion. And you can really see the two combining. And uh, oftentimes when you get those thunderstorms, the rain in them is very cold. So that starts the process all over again. You can see the rain almost falling out of these ice cubes and then starting these convective uh, circles that then move back up and creates it all over again. So that's just a neat little experiment you can do at home. There are many others, of course, and we're going to have more weather experiments for you in the next couple of days. Storm, the weather dog, he is uh, my sidekick, and he is going to be helping out as well. So hopefully you guys can try this out. Cold, warm, convection. Storm, the weather dog. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching Global News Weather Lesson with Anthony Farnell. If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more weather lessons like this.